when you first perceived us within your time-bound reality, you opened the portal through which you could perceive us whenever you choose to look. In other words, what you perceive is an opened portal on which we, Mitre and the Arcturian, have left an imprint. This imprint is much like a key to open the portal so that you can again, and infinitely, perceive the higher dimensions of reality. We, Mitre and the Arcturian, serve as the door to this portal. Hence when you choose to perceive our imprint, it is much like opening the door to that portal. What we wish to tell you now is that this portal is not in your physical office. The portal is actually within your own higher states of consciousness. The reason why you perceive the portal in front of the inside of your office doorway is because that room is where you frequently meditate, create, and assist others. Those interdimensional activities have expanded the energy field of that room into a higher resonant frequency. We appeared to you in front of the door as a symbolic light language message of, you can open this portal door whenever you wish to have an experience of the hallway through which you can enter many different rooms, portals. When you open the door to leave that room, you enter the hallway through which you can find your way to all the rooms of your house, including the front and back doors. Do you understand now, via the symbolism of our light language, why we appeared in front of that door? We suggest that all who read this message apply this analogy to their home. By that we mean that just as the door to your physical home is where your physical self lives, there are certain portals within your physical life that are the portal to where slash when your multidimensional self lives. We say, where slash when because once your consciousness passes through that portal, all 3D space and 3D time shift into fifth dimensional here and now. There is not a gradual process of moving through space in order to spend time in the fifth dimension. The fifth dimension is infinitely here in the now. Therefore, to experience the physical experience of traveling through a portal to arrive in the fifth dimension, you create a series of pictures and experience within your own imagination to convince your third dimensional consciousness that something has changed, and your reality has become different. When you imagine the experience of stepping into the portal, you give your 3D brain some time to shift into a higher state of consciousness. Your 3D brain has been trained that you are innately flawed in some manner, and you need time before you can adjust to a higher state of consciousness. However, once you have achieved that higher state of consciousness, you have left all illusions of time and space to return to the here that you are now within. Once your consciousness is within the now, you are one with the portal and one with your myriad higher dimensional expressions of self. Within the portal, you are free of the illusion that you must be better and repair or enhance your physical self in some manner. From the perspective of your fifth dimensional self, you are the perfect creator of your physical reality. We can hear the collective asking questions such as, Why would I create being ill, injured, poor, alone, etc. etc. The list of human misery goes on and on. These human miseries are very real from the perspective of your third dimensional consciousness. For as long as your consciousness is limited to the third dimension, you will continue these experiences. It is for this reason that the expansion of your consciousness into the higher dimensions is ascension. Where your attention is, there you are also. Just as you must push the accelerator on your 3D automobile to go faster, you must push your consciousness into higher frequencies to accelerate your perception of reality into the higher dimensions of reality. Fortunately, this collective perception of reality is increasingly expanding to enhance your concept of higher dimensions. Therefore, you have less collective resistance to your acceleration of consciousness into the higher dimensions. In your past timelines, those who sought to consciously experience the higher dimensions of reality had to go far away to ashrams on isolated mountain peaks, islands, or areas that were isolated from the static of the collective consciousness of humanity. Humanity as a collective is gradually expanding their consciousness to the higher brain waves through which they can perceive what was formerly considered impossible and likely insane, to the collective of past timelines. As the awakened ones are fully aware, there were many forces of darkness in control of your reality. These forces of darkness knew if they kept you afraid they could easily control you. 
Furthermore, these dark ones actually fed on your fear. Just as beings of light take in the higher frequencies of light to replenish their forms, beings of darkness take in the lower frequency of fear to replenish their forms. Beloved Ascending Ones, we tell you this information not to spur you into battle against the dark. Battle against anything creates great anger and fear, which actually lowers your consciousness. Of course, there are famous war stories of great heroic event during times of war. We thank and commend these brave humans who looked darkness in the face and chose to operate not from fear, but from love for those whom they were protecting. During your myriad eras of great darkness on earth, war was often the only way to battle against darkness. Fortunately, that era is coming to its end. However, as with all endings, there is always a time in which the old and new both exist. Because so many humans live within war-torn areas, we call upon our ascending ones to open their internal portals to become individual and or group portals of light. As a powerful portal for Gaia you will begin. Your service is more powerful if there is a cohesive group, but you can open a portal alone if you prefer. The Ceremony for Gaia Open your consciousness to your own personal portal to self. Merge your awareness slash consciousness with the highest frequencies of your own multidimensional self. Note how the higher selves of all the members of your group unite into one. Intimately and consciously connect with your own higher self, as well as all the higher selves of your group. Allow the higher frequencies of the group higher self to flow through your portal. Observe as your group portal transmutes into an interdimensional portal. As a group, commune with your group higher self and or Gaia to determine the location in which the assigned elementals most need your assistance. It is fine if your group wishes to make that determination before the ceremony. To give the greatest assistance to Gaia, all the groups will work on the same elementals for two weeks. The earth elementals will be first. Calibrate your attention slash consciousness, your chosen location of Gaia's portals. Join into unity consciousness with your physical and higher dimensional group. Open and activate your portal by asking your higher dimensional selves to send unconditional love and violet fire in the group members on Gaia's surface. Expand your consciousness to include Gaia's core. You will begin with the earth elementals and work with them for an earth time of two weeks. September 25th the element of earth. October 9th, the element of water. October 23rd, the element of air. November 6th, the element of fire and the finale. We, your galactic family, are asking you to open these conscious portals that connect the higher frequencies of your multidimensional self with the very core of earth. We say conscious portals because these portals are actually alive. Your third dimensional brain has been trained that some things are alive and other are not alive. This training is more of the work of the dark ones. If trees are alive, how could you cut them down? If the water was alive, how could you pollute it? If the sky was alive, how could you allow chemtrails to exist? If fire was alive, how could you use it to destroy rather than to initiate? If the ground was alive, how could you destroy it to gain wealth or energy sources? By the way, these energy sources were only necessary because the frequency of Gaia had so fallen that humanity forgot all the free energy sources that were available within her crystals. Of course, crystals are very much alive and can actually choose to say no to destructive instructions. After the crystals were so poorly used by the Atlanteans, they chose as a collective to fall asleep. It is only when unconditional love and multidimensional consciousness is lovingly fed into them that they will decide if they want to wake up and trust humans. So many of Gaia's creatures have decided to trust humans, which was much to their demise. Humanity has been lost to the darkness for myriad centuries, timelines, alternate and parallel realities. Since it was humanity that allowed the darkness to take over their world, Humanity must assist to restore their world to light. The plant, animal, mineral and cetacean beings have tried to defend the planet, but humanity became so lost to the Dark Ones that, even as a collective, they could not save Gaia. Humanity is the key to planetary ascension. Therefore, in order to ascend themselves, 
They must release their selfish ways of I want to ascend so I can get out of here. Gaia is a cause and effect planet. In order to ascend beyond the third dimension, humanity must take responsibility for the effect of their causes. We realize that all of humanity will not be able to take that responsibility within their present lifetime. Therefore, they will not ascend on their own or even with Gaia until they accept their own power within and use it to assist their planet. Fortunately, there are other planets on which they can incarnate to continue their process of energy out as energy back. The fact is, many of those who have not yet remembered the law of cause and effect are among the laggards that Gaia allowed to join her planet to give them another chance. We are aware that none of the ones who are drawn to read this information are among that group. We are sharing this information again to remind you, our dear warriors for the light, that there are some who will not be able to accept your efforts to assist them. Please do not perceive their denial of your assistance as any kind of personal failure. We, your galactic family, have had that same experience of not being able to assist those lost to the third dimension. If you have that experience of perceived failure to assist a person, look into their aura. With your expanded perception, you will be able to see if they are not connected via their crown with the higher worlds. You will also see if their heart is closed, and or their aura has many streaks of black, brown, and a dirty red. When and if you meet these people, send them unconditional love and violet fire. Then, release them to their life. You would not expect a first grader to go to college. There are some humans who will need many rounds of incarnations before they will be able to accept the light. When they are ready to accept that light, your gift of unconditional acceptance will assist them. Do you see how very important you are? We do, and we thank you. Also, Gaia thanks you. In closing, we remind you to document your dreams and meditational experiences. You may not be able to understand them yet, but if you have documented them, one day, you will accidentally find them and totally understand their meaning. Be patient with yourself and with Gaia. Remember you came for Gaia. You are already ascended within your own multidimensional consciousness, and you return to these aspects of yourself more often than you can imagine. Therefore, use your wonderful imagination, which is fifth dimensional thoughts, to keep your portal open. Since we are free of the burden of time and space, we are always within the portal ready to greet you. We the Arcturians and the members of your galactic family will be joining you in this interdimensional process of assisting our beloved Gaia with her planetary ascension. We look forward to working with you.